So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is setup applications load balancer so first of all click on start lab and if you're new to this channel just like the video and subscribe the channel now open the console in cognito window now here it is getting signed in automatically if it asks for username password now here if you get any kind of pop-up to just click on i understand and agree and continue just do it now the next step is that we have to just activate the cloud shell so you have to just click on this button it will activate the cloud shell now here you have to just click on continue and authorize yourself basically we are initiating the cloud shell session and here we'll be creating all the instance instance group virtual machines all things will be created over here now just click on the authorize option now once the authorize option is enabled basically we clicked now the cloud shell session you can see it's like let me increase the font size because many of the you are doing using mobile phone so first of all let me increase the font size now come to the lab instruction and we'll follow a step by step guide so first we will just export the region and then we'll export the zone now once we have exported this we have to create multiple web servers basically here first we'll create instance one similarly you can see here instance 2 is here and instance 3 is here now many time what happens sometimes you may face some kind of error i will show you in this video only no need to worry about it first of all let the instance get created so finally first instance is created now here you can see we are running second in second command now here you can see we get this kind of error now here in the h1 sorry h3 we have one kind of welcome message but is it not visible here why due to some lab resources issue in such case if you try to run it again use Control c and if you try to run it again you'll get this kind of error again so what you need to do let me show you if you try to run it again you'll get this kind of error so what do you have to do you have to just come to the lab instruction and reload the page you can see here web server is missing in h2 so just reload it now i showed it because many of you may face some kind of issues in future and so that you have to complete it by understanding not just by copy pasting only now remaining labs for this particular skill badge is already available in the skill badge sheet you can check the description now use Control c to exit this page now just use Control v you can see here web server www2 is here so basically it was missing over here and now when we refresh the page it is available again so wait for it to get start so once it's done you can see here it is finally done over here now what you need to do you need to run the third one also basically we are creating three web instance based on the e2 machine type and with basically in debian cloud sorry debian cloud so wait for it to get completed here basically we have to create the instance firewalls instance template instance group and load balancer and we have to test it so all these things we'll do in this lab so let's complete it now once it is done you need to just come back to the lab instructions and here we'll create a firewall rule basically firewall rule will be created soon it won't take much time so finally it's done now come back again firewall rule has been successfully created now let's check the score for task number two so it's done now for task number three first thing is that we have to create instance template and then group then health check and all these things step by step so just paste over here like this just follow along with me and you'll definitely get the score without any issue now just come over here and run this command once you created the instance template we have to create instance group and then wait for a few seconds
so you can see we have to create the allow health check after the instance group we have to create a health check also so it's taking some time wait for it and once it's done it will show like this now from here what you need to do you have to run the health check command in case you haven't copied it come over here and copy it again and just paste over here and hit enter so now it is just creating oh sorry it's creating a firewall health check rule so it's just wait for some time so finally it is also created now come back again to the lab instruction now here just copy it we are just configuring our load balancer see we are doing step by step in case you miss anything you have to just come over here and run it so just run one by one and now we will be creating the backend service and add instance group to it so just wait for it to get completed and once it's done come over here and paste it now we are creating the backend service now we have to add the instance group paste over here now after that we'll create a url map to the default backend service so it's taking some time so you need to wait for it So finally here you can see this is completed now we have to just move to the lab instruction and run another command just follow along with me and you'll get the full score without any issue now once you have created this just run this url map command so it is also done now we have to just create a http target proxy so here it has also created now we have to add a forwarding rule now this is also done now just check the score and after that we'll be testing the traffic that is very easy task but many of you may face issue so i'll tell you what kind of things you need to do from the search box just type load balancer and search it you can see on the top you have to just click on it and just minimize it now once you have minimized it you can see here remove the unwanted pop-up first of all just remove the unwanted pop-up first of all here just click on the web map and you can see here we have to just check the web map dash http only so you can verify here you can see multiple things are available here you can just configure your backend see the cdn value and whether the whether the load balance is working properly or not now from here you can see this ip port you have to just copy this ip and open a new tab and paste over here now here you have to just click on continue to the site now you may face this kind of issue actually this is not a issue 
this lab takes time to update and it will take at least two to five minutes so if you try to check the score you won't get the score instantly you need to understand that for getting the score here you can see it they have mentioned three to five minutes so i'll recommend wait for three to five minutes and sometimes what happens even earlier you get the score so you have to just wait for some time and just reload the browser so let's meet after some time and check the score Now let's try to refresh the browser and if you are unable to see any output wait for some more time now you can see we got this output that means we have completed this lab and if you like the way i have solved the lab do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such amazing videos have a great day ahead